Underground Video Network. We're here at Pack Rat Comics. We're here with Todd and James, and they're going to tell us a little bit about the horror show. So, welcome, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Keeping it in the middle here. So, uh, you're the writer. Tell us uh, what this is about. Uh, okay. The uh, the horror show is a a story. Um, basically, I wanted to tell a horror story that. Uh, took all the things that were great into the, of the genre and, and made it into like a, a book, right? And w when we started it, we just wanted to do a one shot and you know, then it was done and everything you know, would, would, would continue on. But we released it and we started getting reviews for it. Readers started finding it and asking us what happened next. What happened so, next? One review, I'll, I'll just read a, a, a script. Uh, in just 16 pages, it became the single greatest horror comic book I have ever read. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So that was awesome. We started getting reviews like that, uh, so uh, Todd and I decided to keep it going. Um, wrote number two, and it just came out. I don't want to talk about the story, uh, which is kind of the, the hardest sell in the world. Um, so far, we've let the reviews talk about the story, but there there's at least two twists in this book that make it, you know, what it is. Um, and then for issue two. Uh, it, it continues on with that. We've got the third issue that we're doing right now that's going to just make it solid, you know. And uh, you know, so far everybody's been happy with it. So uh, just know that you'll see that there is a, a zombie on the front cover. Uh, there are no zombies in this book. See, now you want to read because you're like, what? <laughs> why? Well, buy the book, open up, see why. Um, tell us who. Um as the artist, who are your, uh, you know, your influences, uh, uh, past, present? Oh, too many. Um, Franklin Booth, Bernie Wrightson, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, Dave McKean, Bill Sinkovich, Kent Williams. Up you or <laughs> <laughs> uh, just it's too many. I I am influenced by almost everybody I see. And we, well, we we did a little. Uh, pre-interview but we were talking about how you are actually dabbling in not just traditional ink and you're actually now dabbling in digital ink as well correct yeah yeah um, it's just a, uh, another way of getting lines on paper um, digital you you can go back and erase your mistakes um, but uh, the freedom of of being able to go back and, and make corrections it's it changes the way I work it's phenomenal all right, let, let's say they give you the genie in a bottle and they say, okay, you guys get to pick who's uh, directing and doing this movie if it was to be in an adaptation. Just get, give it to us. Who, who, who You get to pick. Who is it? Who would bring this to life? Of course, you guys would bring this to life, but who would be the guys <laughs> you let them uh, use their money to bring it to life? Robert Rodriguez. Okay. That was so easy. I knew that. I could read their minds. I knew that was right. <laughs> yeah, I could see Robert Rodriguez. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really happy with it as a comic. Uh, I'm not necessarily one of those guys that's like, you know, don't make my comic into a movie. You know, if it happens, that's awesome. But uh, I love seeing it on the printed page. Um, so that's that's mainly what I'm happy with. So anybody you choose, I'm happy with. All right. All right. Rodriguez? Rodriguez, okay. Um, but yeah, so just to kind of give everybody a heads up, right now, if you go on to brokeniconcomics.com, um, mm -hmm. We have the first issue up as a free digital download. Uh, we're, we're kind of giving people the opportunity, you know, since we didn't really have a big pitch for it because we don't want to give too much of the story away, we're deciding to let people read it, judge for themselves. If they like it, pick up issue two and buy a copy of issue one, and, you know, everything's good. As far as uh, movies and stuff going for this year, 2014, what's the best movie you've seen as far as story-wise, like, this year? See, gotta be something. Yeah, there, there, there have been way too many bad movies that pop up in my head. <laughs> okay, that so what, seen. what was the one good movie that stood out out of the bad movies, even though they were all bad? <laughs> uh, I mean, the most recent one that comes to my head, uh, we just went to see Edge of Tomorrow, and that turned out to be pretty good. Okay. I was, I was pretty happy with it. So, not a horror movie, but you know. Right. I can't really think of any movies that have really blown me away. Gonna have 2014 sucked this year with movies. <laughs> I've I've been watching more television than anything. I mean, yeah. I'm a yeah. big 24 fan. I just finished yeah. Orange Is the New Black. I, that's been great. Okay. Um, so it's been TV mostly. Yeah. I think horror horror movies. Uh, you know, I, I've seen a lot of independent movies that have been coming out that have been really fun. You mm -hmm. know, um, but like. 
you know, Oculus came out. I wasn't a big fan of that. Okay. And it seems that what they're doing is trying to go for these cheap thrills, and they yeah. don't. Yeah, I got. I get what you're saying. They don't understand the genre, you know. Like, and this is, you know, my opinion. Everybody's got an opinion about movies, right. you know. So it doesn't really m m matter. <laughs> but from what my perspective is, being someone who who likes to write horror and likes to read and watch horror, um, you know, the the things that make a good horror book. Are are pretty universal. It's just how you use them and the way that you emphasize different details in a story. That's what makes it stand out, you know. So for for things like the horror show, um, you know, you you take all those things that you see and all those spooky images that you find, the ones that really really work yeah. and really challenge your understanding of you know what makes a good horror story. Uh, you know, you, you start to figure out ways to work them into the page yeah. you know and I'm not seeing that anymore I'm not seeing the love in horror anymore I'm sending this interview to HBO and be like dude you need to make this a series now <laughs> okay it tells from crypto has been gone for years like look <laughs> we need to bring it back we need to bring horror back yeah that was the thing like uh, you know we got compliments saying that it reminded them of the old EC style you know comics which was a, was great you know, because that's that's something that it got its origins in. You know, it definitely has its roots in things that are fun and you know a little bit serious, but right, not right. too much. Right. So I don't know. It, it's it's been a lot of uh, a lot of hard work, but a lot of enjoyment. All right. Tell the people again the website to reach you guys at. Uh, the book itself is being published through BrokenIconComics.com, um, and my personal website is JamesMaddox.net. My personal website is BicycleDesign.com, B-E-I-S-T-E-L, Design.com. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Sweet.